Good day everyone, so today I am back with another video. Now thank you so much again for all the support you've given me in the last two videos. I know it's been pretty tough times lately but and we're all staying at home, quarantined and we can't really do much but it's been a pleasure to just do what I can in order to help lift the spirits a little bit and that is to make videos like this. Now what am I going to do for today? Well, I'm actually dressed for the part. So in my front, I have UP, but inside, I have Ateneo. Now, why is that? Because number one, just these clothes are just sitting there in my closet and I'm not really doing much with it. But aside from that, today will be about my two schools. I will be touring the two places that I hold dear to my heart, and that is Ateneo and UP. Okay? Now, these two schools were pretty much what formed me as a person. I started out in grade school in Ateneo, moved on to high school in Ateneo, and then I took up mechanical engineering in UP Didiman. And then right after I graduated with mechanical engineering, I actually ended up teaching in Ateneo again. So Ateneo, UP Ateneo. But regardless, it's, I'm still a Katipunan boy. And it really, it's been quite something lately to be a Katipunan person, especially because UAAP uh, now features a pretty intense rivalry between the two schools. Before, it was really meh. But then, over the last two years, it's exploded to become one of the biggest and most anticipated sporting events of this country. And so, with that, I will tour the builds that I have for those two schools. And that is, for Ateneo's side, I have Blue Eagle Gym and Church of Jesu. And for UP side, I have my College of Engineering and a build that I actually haven't published before, and that is the Faculty Center. Now, to get things going, um, let's go with Ateneo first. Okay. Anyway, there we go. I will begin first with my Ateneo build. So my first build for today would be the Church of Jesu. Now, when did I come up with this uh, church? Uh, this one I built same break of 2019, so that's last year. And then, basically in Sam break, I was just really looking for something that I could uh, put my fingers in. And I, I thought about, hmm, I want to come back in Minecraft, but I don't know exactly what to do. And then, I thought of, hey, nobody has built a Jesu seriously yet in Minecraft before. So I thought of taking up the challenge. And here is my result, the Church of Jesu. And this, actually, in such a short space of time, I couldn't believe what happened to this build because after I published it, it actually went kind of viral within the school. Got like 200 plus shares or something. And then aside from that, when I did go to this Minecraft seminar for uh, implementing science in uh, STEM education, uh, I showed this and they were impressed. And they actually ended up uh, offering to 3D print my Jesu in Minecraft. So... I actually have the Minecraft 3D print over there. I'll just get it quickly. One eternity later. Okay, so this was the box that I got from Arete, and this is what happened after the Minecraft seminar. So around two weeks after the Minecraft seminar, I end up uh, getting my 3D printed version of the Church of the Sioux. So this is what it looks like. In Arete, where they have these three really cool 3D printers, uh, they actually haven't had an architectural build there yet. Most of the time, the people using the 3D printers were those in the engineering class, so they would put parts like screws or gears that they need, or par car parts, or if not that, uh, it would be the fine arts students, so they would have sculptures of their works. And this was actually the first time somebody 3D printed an architectural model of a very famous landmark in Ateneo. So that's why when they gave this to me, they also told me that a lot of the college students appreciate this uh, 3D printed model that I have because uh, aside from me, they actually use it as an example for them in their college classes for them to 3D print all sorts of stuff. But anyway, um, enough of that. Let's go into the Minecraft build itself. So this one actually took, uh, I think, three days in total to build. Uh, with the help of World Edit, that is, because it's imp it's nigh on impossible to build this without World Edit, and I built this relatively to scale, uh, if not to scale, a little bit bigger than um, what is required. But uh, I found it really cool because of the triangular structure and all of that. Uh, Church of Jesu holds a dear place in my heart because when I was in grade two. And that was way back when I was in Atenea grade school. We were actually the first batch to be given the honor of using the church for our Holy Communion. Okay, so that was a big deal because Church of Jesu back then was a newly constructed church. 
and um, it was a really magnificent structure and now it's pretty much a symbol of the school so anyway without further ado let's uh, go inside okay we've got to when we go inside the church we've got to do the holy water tribute first so there we got some holy water sign of the cross and off we go inside i built these pews so what i did for this was actually just doors or i believe trap doors in fact so this is a trap door that uh, kind of looks like a pew uh, a backrest and then i put upside down stairs and slabs in the middle and for this one i went with snow okay and i was worried for a bit with my choice of snow because this the reason why it's illuminated especially down the aisle is because under this carpet layer over here is actually a bit of glowstone okay so i'll just reveal it a little bit so there we go some glowstone and then cover it with a carpet now that was one of the techniques that i learned uh in other servers okay because it's so hard to illuminate buildings uh, they actually just go for carpets and then glowstone under then they, that completely hides the glowstone from public view but it's pretty minimalist actually and there was actually one flaw of this uh, design because I think you would see it better this flaw that I'm talking about when we go to the outside actually that's not the way out it's over here okay so this is the way out yeah, uh, this thing, as you could see, this window thing is supposed to be aligned with the uh, central pyramid. But uh, because of Minecraft and the difficulty at which it is to produce these kinds of things, I ended up make, skewing it a little bit. And this thing, as you could see, should be a perfect triangle. But at the end of the day, if you look very closely, it's actually a bit of a pentagon because here, there's a diagonal. But then it becomes much steeper here all of a sudden because yeah it was pretty hard to build a central cross anyway let's go with my ateneo build um i have quite a few more or actually just one more in fact i have one more build from ateneo that i would like to show you and that is this one okay this is my recreation of the blue eagle gym i think it would be better to appreciate this from the outside and this was actually the first build i did after i got this uh, 3d print of jesu and one of the things that I was told back then was I had to make sure that if I want to add, a, add some detail into my build that the, it was at least one block thick and that was so that the 3D printer could actually print that very fine detail of my creation. So as you can see, this is just pillars that you would see at the side of the Blue Eagle Gym but then it's one block thick. And that means when I do 3D print this eventually, and I hope that's pretty soon when this corona crisis ends, you could actually see the detail of this uh, these vents, okay? And then, yeah, this one was the hardest part. Uh, because if you notice, if you actually look at the Blue Eagle Gym closely, this central portion over here, it's not really completely flat. And that's because they have these uh, openings. And I realized later on that these openings were for two reasons. Number one, natural lighting because the uh, Blue Eagle Gym is uh, pretty dark inside because of the fact that it's completely covered in the, in the roof. And second, because uh, it was a big public venue that needed ventilation. I think back in the time that it was built, 1950s, uh, air conditioning this big place was still financially pretty much out of the question. And that's why they ended up putting a lot of holes and openings in order to uh, get, let the air flow in, even if there's a bit of a crowd enjoying a basketball game. So I had to do this very fine detail and I accomplished it actually by putting stairs. So this is a stair block in Minecraft. And then just to make it interesting and just to make sure that it's uh, a bit even, I did it the opposite way on the bottom. So this one goes that way, this one goes that way. And at the end result, you have all of these vents and much, much more detail. The second challenge that I had to do here was this uh, eagle because I'm not the best pixel artist. But actually, I found a good website by which you could go to and then you could just upload a picture and then they would uh, recreate that picture in smaller pixel size. It's the proper size and it's... You could still recognize the eagle, correct? It's not as if I just made pixel art for no reason. It's still very much the Ateneo Blue Eagle. Now for the sides, I actually made it interesting because usually, if you notice in my Jesu build, I just stopped at the church. But uh, this one, so that you can have a bit of an appreciation of the surroundings, I even went the full detail and built the road network. So 
here's the thing. Uh, you could actually use it as a starting point for a future at full Ateneo build because this road network, all you have to do is just extend this. This goes to the grade school, okay? This goes all the way to the high school and college. So you just have to extend these roads and this is a real starting point. You could even extend this to go to the gate and into Katipunan you go, okay? So I even had to be detailed. This is also the first time I used a lot of trees to cover the area just to simulate the fact that this area is pretty tree-lined and car park which is diagonal. So admittedly, I would have been I would have liked to be a bit more detailed on the sides, particularly with how the uh, ticket turnstiles would look like, but that is the best uh, I was able to muster. Uh, I think I will make it more detailed when I get a glimpse of the Blue Eagle Gym in the flesh because I built this primarily on just um, pictures online because this coronavirus crisis uh, prohibited me from actually going to the Blue Eagle Gym and taking pictures. One of the things I'm proud about about this Blue Eagle Gym is, is that it's not just a beauty in the outside because inside I actually did the effort and make made it pretty detailed okay so there you go it's a proper basketball stadium now, this one is actually the very first sports stadium that i built in minecraft all on my own because the one that i participated in before was uh philippine arena but uh, i wasn't the initiator there it was an iglesia ni cristo member of the pinoy craft server and i just participated just because i thought the philippine arena project was a cool thing that the country was going to have I struggled, struggled a little bit with this part, with the uh, diagonal seats, because as you can see, this one, you can really see the seats, but here, they're a bit spaced out. Ah, it's very appropriate in the times, I should say, social distancing, and uh, yeah, uh, not a good joke, though. But anyway, um, this is what it looks like inside, Blue Eagle here, Atenea there, and I tried my best to even imitate the arches, as you, as you could see, and the seats all around. So in the back, I made sure to make it a bit different because this is really what it looks like in the back, okay? It's just a bunch of offices and windows and there's even a balcony here where you could look at things. And ideally, if, if we were to build the grade school, this would be a car park and Irwin Theater would be somewhere here. So it really is a good starting point. All you have to do is really extend the roads and voila, this could become the grade school in a bit. Okay, so that is my Ateneo builds. I will now go into my other school, which is UP Diliman. And for that, I have to put on the appropriate attire. So if you'll excuse me. A few moments later. There we go. I have now been converted into my UP attire. And with that, I can now quit my map and go into my UP build. So this is the College of Engineering. Now, like the Ateneo map, I actually laid out a bit of a road network here, so it could be a starting point for a future full UP build. And just to add to it, I even added these uh, Eco Jeeps, okay, just to be cool, so I put an Eco Jeep here. And this is actually a real jeepney stop because I remember when I was a UP student, okay, I would, uh, there's a jeepney stop here, I would uh, get off here and then I could go here to uh, UP Diliman. I believe this is a, this is a talkie though, not an ECOT. So if you are uh, one of my engineering friends, I hope you get to see this. If you're one of my students in Ateneo, then it would be pretty much my dream if you end up in a school like this. So. This is what it looks like inside. The first thing I would like to show you, I think I should get my night vision potion for this because this one is not really the well, the best lit uh, structure that I've ever made. Okay, so I had no very little lighting, but this one over here is the UP library, and as you could see, we really tried our best to put the cubicle format because this is what the study cubicle looks like in UP College. So you have glass. Um, glass boundaries and you have the chair there and you have the desk and i always use these cubicles a lot because when i was uh, a up student the library was my friend okay this was the perfect place for me to just go and you know take a rest and aside from taking a rest this was also a place for me to study for the next class and then there you could it goes all around here and this is the reserve books area and the bottom floor of the UP library is actually the one that I uh, spend the most time in. But this area over here is actually what you call TLC or the Learning Commons. Okay, This one 
was so cool because it had its own sofa. So it had its own couch, it had its own bean bag even. And yeah, this was a place where I always frequent just take a nap. Okay. So that was me in college and I think that was really a good thing by UP to designate a part of their uh, library just so you could take a nap. Okay. So I hope other libraries or other schools would take note that you know, especially in colleges like engineering where we're sleep deprived, that's very much ideal. Oh my gosh, I remember this. Here. So this used to be a frat over here. Um, and then we go up, there are bulletin boards here. And then there, there are windows here where you can see a good view out. And then here's that. And as you could see, this is the lit legit floor design in UP. So they have this uh, yellow gold uh, floor tiles and they have the green ones. And I, I try to be as detailed as I can to copy it uh, bit by bit so this is authentic okay so some lighting there and inside this is the UP theater okay so inside the UP theater yeah I tried my best to make it look authentic because this one okay I have a lot of fun memories here because first as an Ateneo student this was the first uh, building in UP that I got to go into why because uh, back in 2012 or 2011 I think before my college entrance tests uh, they offered career exposure kind of uh, talks and one of those talks actually landed us into UP and then we had a talk here about mechanical engineering and I thought this is the kind of thing I want to be okay I want to work with machines and all of that I want to build stuff and I credit my experience in this uh, UP Fair in doing or UP Fair in this uh, career exposure trip in the UP Theater in being that. Another thing that I will know this for would be it's the venue for competitions because when I was I was part of the advanced science program in Ateneo and because I was kind of a good builder I they would get me into these uh, building competitions in UP. I didn't win any of them in UP that is but the one I remember here was the bridge building competition we're in you had barbecue sticks and a glue gun and with a team of three you had to build a bridge and that bridge has to survive a lot of load uh, after that all of my fond memories for this kind of died down sadly because one thing if you guys end up in UP this is the main testing venue so a lot of the colleges would rent out this area so that they would conduct massive tests okay so they have student desks lined up in this theater and they basically they have you under control because you just put your bags in the front the teacher would sit here and yeah he pretty much has a good view of everyone because of the elevation in the um, in the theater i have a mixed bag of memories in going to the up theater but overall i think i should uh, just relish or i should just cherish the fact that i was given the privilege of going to up as well this is like a study nook area uh, a fraternity sponsored the renovation of this area um this, this fourth floor i believe is i didn't even put enough for the classrooms but uh, that fourth floor was meant to be for industrial engineering and the top floor this one here has some more classrooms that i didn't get to finish anymore and then they have a classroom here this is the civil engineering uh, this is the procter and gamble suite i think yeah um, it's one of those big companies that sponsor this room and this was a big lecture room where we would take in general engineering subjects so this is the typical engineering classroom so as you could see it's very much like Ateneo. It's not air-conditioned or some of it is not air-conditioned. Then you have ceiling fans, you have a projector screen, whiteboard, and you have all of the desks. Right now, I'm really feeling like I'm going through memory lane right now, just going through all of these uh, UP buildings. Here is actually uh, the Tau Alpha Sundial. Now, this one, I was not part of any fraternity when I was in UP. However, my dad was actually a member of Tau Alpha, and that's why... Uh, he requested that I put this in. It's a sundial and actually it would be interesting. When there's shaders, would this sundial really work? Makes me curious. This is a car park for the faculty in engineering. And over here is, oh, let's go first here. This is like the uh, Tau Alpha Courts. This, again, this is something that my dad requested me to do because he was a member of Tau Alpha. But uh, yeah, he 
I made sure it was well decorated, even with the Tau Alpha logo over there in pixel art. And then over here is my home college. This is the one I, even if that one is unfinished, this is the one I really made sure to do well, and that is my mechanical engineering department. This over here is the Shell Eco Marathon car. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's not much, but as you can see, I tried my best to put a seat in and then my tires. I even put a CD as a tire. That's pretty, that's pretty dope. And then you have, these are pigeonholes, okay? So this is where a lot of the uh, faculty would, le would leave uh, boxes by which you could dump your homework, etc. And then we have student desks. I, I, I appreciate the detail by which there's a seat here and then the tables at the right side. So there's that. And then the faculty workroom is actually inside here. Now, did I actually get to finish the faculty workroom? I'll just peep through the window if it... Nah, it's completely blank. I didn't get to finish it anymore. But anyway, uh, faculty workroom's inside. This is a study area in Mech Eng. They set this up such that it was cleaned up and uh, we could use it to study for mechanical engineering. And then this was actually a model of a Volkswagen engine. So this was a boxer engine, uh, four-cylinder. Uh, I couldn't really simulate four cylinders here without it being too oh, disproportional, but yeah, I tried my best. And the interesting here is, the reason why it has this is because we'd actually uh, have a hand crank, you could wind it, and then all of these pistons would move. And that would really make you go, wow, this is engineering, I love this kind of stuff. And then over here we have a, a, wind, a wind tunnel. This is a wind tunnel for our simulations of uh, aerodynamics. And then you have, this is a vehicle testing labs over there. I didn't get to finish it anymore, which is pretty sad actually. I really should uh, put in some effort in finishing these. But the one thing that I made sure that I completed was this, and this is the Notorious ME4. Why is it Notorious? And that is because of the class of ME188, which is Power Plant Engineering. It was still a class that we had to take, and yeah, it was, it was a teacher I think that made it uh, pretty pretty memorable experience i'll put it that way i don't want to be too harsh but yeah it made it the class memorable and i got it down to the detail p7 you know why it's p7 because the error the aircon rather would always exhibit an error and then when it has an error and it doesn't it stops working p7 would show up and that's pretty funny this is a simulation of a turbine this is a schematic diagram so uh you have turbines there you have the boiler here Try our best to simulate it in Minecraft. This is a cool uh, eraser. So this one is something you can slide and erase the whiteboard. And these are the seats. This is the professor's professor's chair. And this is the we use snow, and because you could stack it and it could simulate like a pile of papers on the teacher's desk. So I won't go into much detail anymore of my experiences here in ME4. But if you guys are from mechanical engineering. I'm sure that you would have a bit of fondness, I would say, for this place as well. So anyway, I'll just go into... I'll go outside Eng now. Uh, yeah, my Eng build is pretty unfinished. I went for the front and took a picture of it, and that's pretty much it. Uh, but it's pretty sad actually that I didn't get enough time to complete the rest of Eng. But if I am given time again, I would love to start on this again and probably finish the build. And the other build that I want to show you is right across the uh, field, okay? So let me just quickly cross from here. At the far end is one of the buildings that made us really sad, okay? And when it pops out in the distance, you'll probably see why it made us sad to make. As you can see, this is a really long road, actually. I feel like I'm taking a road trip, okay? There's the end. Let's keep going. There you go. So, the other building that I have, and I've never actually publicized that I built this, was the faculty center right here. So, the sad story about this, as you know, this building was the home of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences. It was uh, one of the iconic structures in UP. Uh, a lot. I, I personally went there a lot before when I had to pick up readings for my uh, humanities classes that were required as an elective. But then midway through my UP stay, it burned down. It was one of the saddest and traumatizing experiences that I've ever had to face as a UP student. Because I personally know a lot of my professors who lost things there. 
they lost laptops and they actually even lost like books some of them are books that cannot be replaced because they were like uh, exclusive editions of certain you know texts I think some copies of the Noli or something like that even burned down there which was a really sad event overall for the UP community and my plan for this I didn't get to finish it anymore but my plan for this was actually to make a time-lapse video so I built this block per block I did not use world edit when making this and that is for good reason and that is I wanted to um, make the uh, time lapse so that I, sh I we have the imagery of the faculty center being rebuilt through Minecraft. That would have been nice if I had published a video, but before I finished the video, I got busy again and thus I never got to complete it. I don't think I even have the files anymore by which I could uh, continue the time lapse, but yeah, it's pretty. I think it's pretty old for me now to continue. As you can see, I didn't even finish the roof anymore, the structures at the top. Yeah, this was a tribute that I wanted to do just so that we have the uh, and then post it just so I have a video of the faculty center being rebuilt again. But I think thankfully, uh, they're actually constructing a new faculty center in UP. I haven't been to UP in quite some time, but I remember it being uh, blockaded, this area, and uh, some bulldozers and cranes were there just to finish up the remaining uh, part of the faculty center that hasn't collapsed and they are actually building a new thing here so i would love to see the new faculty center take place anyway that's pretty much it actually for my up and ateneo builds so thank you very much for watching uh, i really hope that even in these times we're in we are just at home and not really doing much i was able to lighten up your day with my simple minecraft videos showcasing some of the things that i built when i was in college and when i was a student in high school so thank you for watching and i hope to see you again in the next video and hopefully let's see you again when this entire thing is over bye bye